welcome Alfonso Coron and Chaitanya Tamani. How are the two of you doing? We're doing Great. good, thank you. Happy right. to be chatting with you guys. Super excellent to connect with the two of you. I hope you two are keeping safe right now. And uh, I want to start off with the most obvious. How did the two of you meet? Yeah, so, uh, you know, back in like 2011 or 12, I'd made a note in my diary about this amazing program called the Rolex Mentor Protégé Arts Initiative, where they get a master from, you know, like say the field of cinema and and they pair that master with an upcoming artist, you know, who's from a, a different generation and like much younger and upcoming. And I was like, this is, a, you know, I would love someday to be a part of this, except you can't even apply for it. You have to be invited to apply for it. Mm -hmm. And then after having made court, I suddenly got an email saying, would you like to apply? Alfonso Cuaron is the mentor. And I was like, of course, I would love to apply because, you know, I have never really had a mentor in cinema. I've always been like self-trained and I've been, I've been yearning for, for a mentor, you know, and if it's somebody like, you know, Quaron, I, it would, I knew that it would be an absolute pleasure, but I also knew it's very difficult to get selected because there's only one protege, but somehow the, the stars kind of align and things fell in place and, uh, and he ended up selecting me as the protege. And that was, I think now, five years ago and we've come a long way since then and I feel very uh, privileged and, and lucky that this association has lasted this long. Oh, it's a five-year long association. All right. Al now, Al yeah. What was your first impression of Chaitanya and in the, in the last five years, how has that changed? Well, I, it, <laughs> let's say this, it was an immediate thing. I remember like, uh, and it was, you know, I have to say, I have to select between five different filmmakers, mm -hmm. all of them great. I was so happy with the selection that they have made. The way that they do it is very, very interesting because they is critics and other filmmakers who select the candidates. Mm -hmm. And they were like, I mean, amazing, amazing filmmakers, you know, and some that they have gone off to do amazing work. But the thing with Chaitanya was two things. It was the connection with his work. I have seen Court and, and I was deeply impressed. I'm still impressed by Court. Uh, but then when I met him, it was an instant connection. It's one of those of that five minutes into the conversation is, uh, is, is like you're talking with an old friend. And uh, ever since the conversation just kept on going. You know, like I think that the, 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 the whole thing in our relationship, master disciple is too bombastic mm -hmm. because I think that that master disciple is a very circular situation. Mm -hmm. And particularly when you, you, you consider someone, start considering someone a collaborator. Mm -hmm. and, and it's more about like retrofitting each other. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and and so I think I I hope that Chaitanya has learned so much about uh, uh, of me as I have learned so much of him. You know, is uh, and that's that's what happened through the process, and and we just became also good friends. You know, is uh, and uh, and that was priceless, but also a these friends that you admire and you admire, deeply admire their work. Well, was it the friendship that uh, you know, made you lend your name to the disciple? Because that was after the mentorship program, but your name was still uh, associated with the disciple. Or was it the professional side of Chaitanya as a filmmaker? Was it a combination of both? I have to say, like, uh, as much as I embrace friendship, mm -hmm. There are certain things that you don't do for friendship. Mm -hmm. uh, if if anything was, uh, and I also it's not about lending my name; it's about having the privilege of having my name in this film. Mm -hmm. it, it is 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 more about the other way around. It's about a deep respect, a deep belief in what he's doing, and. Uh, uh, and and, and uh, an embracing of work more than anything else. 
A plus on all of that mm -hmm. is that one more excuse to have conversations. You know, that was just uh, a, a good byproduct. But th those are the things that you cannot do for friendship because that doesn't, as a friend, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work for you. It doesn't work for your friend because uh, you put uh, the, uh, ultimately the friend in an unfair position mm -hmm. if you are not a firm believer of, 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 of the work. Well, Chaitanya, without Alfonso on board, I imagine The Disciple would have been a very different film. And I don't mean just in stature. So how do you think he helped shape the film and make it what it is today? Right. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's very hard to sort of quantify, um, you know, contribution of, of somebody like Alfonso on the film and on my filmmaking process because uh, I always say this, that it's going to probably take me another five or seven years to, to fully comprehend what all I have learned from him and I'm constantly learning from him on a daily basis, right? Because uh, I feel like my ambition kind of increased many fold after seeing the process of Roma. You know, Alfonso helped me find the cinematographer of the film and which is why the film looks a certain way. Alfonso is the one who told me, edit the film yourself and which is why the film, you know, flows in, in a certain way. And then of course, like you spoke about stature, I mean, really, uh, you know, Alfonso helped us uh, take the film to many, many more audiences and, 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 and you know, help us put an entire machinery together to, to put the film out in the strongest possible way. So it's very hard to, to, to quantify it, except all I can say is that we feel very, very privileged and very, very lucky. And also the film is very privileged to have uh, Alfonso's association uh, with it. Well, well I, what Chaitan is saying, I have to say, is, is, is again, it's very circular, the whole thing. Because I could not quantify, for instance, uh, Chaitanya collaboration in Rome. Yeah. Uh, in the sense that, I, I have to say, is that pretty much the dynamic was that Chaitanya was in the set of Roma almost every single day of the shoot. And in between takes, what usually I would do is just sit in one of those sofas in that house and we would just chat. And we were just chatting about life and a lot about cinema. And there are certain conversations that, that and again, it has to do with someone that, you, that, that you, you, you feel comfortable, but also that you respect their ideas. And we were talking, I remember, for instance, the conversation that we were having about time in cinema. And, uh, and look, it's one of those things that pre-mates. Mm -hmm. And then as I, w I kept on doing my work every day, that, 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 that conversation keep on, keep, kept on echoing in my head. And like that conversation, many other conversations, you know? So uh, I think it's, but what he, as, as he's saying, it's, it's very difficult to quantify collaboration. All right, I can imagine. And that's interesting you mentioned, uh, you know, your conversations about cinema. So are you familiar with other Indian filmmakers and their work as well? Uh, right now? Yes, in the current talk of Indian filmmakers. No, at this point, I, I no, I don't have the, the, the lock yet, but you know, like I, I want to be introduced by my, I mean, if, if, if more filmmakers are like Chaitanya, I would be so happy. You would? You know, Alfonso, Indian classical music exists in different forms in India. So there is a connect of sorts instantly for Indian audiences with this film. But what do you think audiences internationally connect with? You know, that was interesting because when, when the film was, people start talking about the film internationally, they haven't seen it. Hmm. And the big fear was precisely that. You know, it's like, well, it's very specific, that music, you know, it's, it's a, 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 we don't really, you know, in the West is, is, is a different, com completely approach of music and stuff. And when they watch it, they stop, you know, like, the beauty of this was that the conversation was not about the music, it was about the thematics of the, of the film that are highly universal, very human. You know, it's, it's about the, the fathers and sons and the new and the old and the, spe the expectations that we, that, that are 
created by our parents versus expectations that we have of ourselves. And a, but through that universality, a new appreciation for this music came. Mm. You know, and people wanted to know more about this music. So it was like, like a dance of the two things. And, and that's the thing is, and I think in India is going to be similar. I mean, I think that Indian audiences are going to appreciate uh, the beauty of, 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 of this music. But what is really going to pull them in is the emotional aspect of it and the, and the, and the thematic elements, the universality, the, hum, the humanity of, of, of the film. Well, Alfonso, in Indian cinema or Hindi cinema, we have an off juice term called terraf, which means staying on something, you know, staying in the moment, staying on a shot. And I feel like there's a lot of it in The Disciple. And Chaitanya, I want to ask you, does this terraf come somewhere from Puran? Yeah, like he said, uh, you know, we have very similar notions about, not that I want to compare myself with him, but like we have... Uh, you know, uh, some notions about time in cinema and, and music itself is a temporal medium, you know, uh, and, and, and especially Khayal music, which we are depicting in the film is, is you know, is, is so distinct in its temporality that maybe some of that has reflected in the film language that is used in The Disciple. And, you know, we were just talking about it, that this pandemic has kind of forced all of us to slow down now. And I think it's in a way, in a weird way, the right time for people to, to slow down and watch a film like this and, and reflect. I think, I think it is definitely a good time for that. Go back to that circularity, because now that he was talking about that, I remember how court was a big influence for me doing Roma. Wow. Yeah, and, and, and I, you know, and, and, uh, and how he gave me the, the freedom to, to do some of the, this, uh, to take to some choices that I made in that film. You know, just as an Indian, I feel so proud that you are inspired by Indian cinema while making your cinema. So Chaitanya, I can't even imagine how you feel when you hear don't him take say, it, Don't take it, he's very generous. Don't take it so seriously, please. He's being, just being very generous. <laughs> no, I, I'm sure, I'm sure he's generous, but truthful. I see that. So that, that, you know, that is a really a proud moment for you as a filmmaker, I'm sure. It is for me. <laughs> it is for you. Yeah. <laughs> Alfonso, what was the experience of watching The Disciple come together for you? You know, you have won numerous awards. Let's not even get into that. But uh, The Disciple was the first movie from India to be selected in the main competition of a European film festival. Uh, you know, it was selected at the Toronto Film Festival, Busan International Film Festival, New York Film Festival. You know, something that many Indian films haven't been able to achieve. So as a mentor, do you take a special kind of joy when your protégé's film gets these awards? I'm sure you awards for you, however, are commonplace in every day. Well, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, the, the mentor thing again is like this circular thing, which is, mm. you know, a, a, that I, I I was lucky enough to be part of his editing process, mm. and uh, so he sent me some early cut that we talk about, and uh, and what I was very inspired was of how meticulous Chaitanya is and how. Perfection is not unlike his character, he is. And pretty much I followed through the process until he went to do the mix and the color correction. So that is something I haven't seen yet, you know? So I haven't seen, I've seen the film, mm -hmm. I think until the final cut, but not the whole thing put together. And it, it, it showed part of the artistry of, of, of Chaitanya. I, I, he went to, to mix, I believe, in Berlin, right, Chaitanya? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, in Berlin. And, and, and if, you, if, you, if you watch the film, and you watch it and, and also listen to the film, it's such a joy. I remember my experience watching the film all together. It was amazing. And I was, I have to say, I was, 
I was more nervous when the film was about to be presented in Venice than with my own films, because I believe it so much in this film. And when that, the, the, that response started happening, and then the word starts spreading all around about the greatness of this film uh, through, you know, film festivals, as you said, the New York Film Festival that I was saying before. It took me, I don't know, one decade and a half to get one film in, 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 in the New York Film Festival. And there you go, go Chaitanya with his second film, and he's there. That is, a, I mean, it's, it's the most selective festival in the world. And then, it, it, you know, you start getting all this because it's not, it hasn't been released yet, but then of course, like people in the industry, they have access of the film. And you start having all these directors, filmmakers and actors and producers watching the film and embracing the film. You know, a, a lot of these stars that they wanted to campaign for the film, for the Oscars, they were disappointed because the, 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 the film was not selected. And they would say, wow, we were ready to campaign for the film. It was, you know, it was, uh, and that even if you see the articles about magazines, about the predictions of the films that were going to, to be there, there was always the disciple. And uh, it, for me, it was just an amazing thing. I, yeah, it was a proud moment because I'm proud of my friend and I'm proud of, of a filmmaker that what, that I was lucky to be part to partake in part of his process. That's lovely to see the friendship and the bond between the two of you. I have to say, Chaitanya, you know your film. Uh, even Court was, uh, you know, in, in the history of, uh, you know, Venice Film Festival, the third time uh, that one film won two lions, I think, and then after that, of course, Disciple won all these awards. But Indian films, as you know, have it hard in the international uh, market to get recognition. So what do you think are the roadblocks standing in their way? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm no expert uh, on this subject, but I think two things. One is like, you know, of course, uh, international festivals have to be more receptive to other cultures, the ethos of other stories outside of, you know, market constraints and the kind of films that they've already seen. And the other question to ask is also if Indian filmmakers actually want to reach out to an international audience or are they making films which are, you know, sort of parochial and only and if they're only concerned with a uh, you know, with a local audience. So it's a it's a two way street that the blocks are, I guess, maybe on both sides. I, okay. I, agree you, I agree with you because sometimes festivals, even if they're international, they can, they're kind of selective in the, the regions that they choose their films. And that, that, is, that, that is true. It, oh, another thing I would say is that it's also beautiful to see, like I live in London, that there's a huge Indian community. So I interact with a fair amount of, of Indians. I'd say, Chaitanya, I haven't told you this before. People are so proud of you. Oh. And they're <laughs> looking forward to watch the film. You know, it's like, like a pride because they have heard and read so much about it that here they is it's like a pride. And, and that's actually very beautiful. Well, I feel the pride from you too, Alfonso. And it was such a pleasure talking to the two of you. I have to wrap up now. But uh, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shilpa. Thanks a lot.